Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Hey, welcome. <laughs> Yo creí que hoy era viernes. <laughs> no, pero ya mañana es. Mañana, mañana. Miren la tarea en una de las homeworks. He tenido problemas yo. Ok, ya la vamos a revisar. Si quieres, vamos a esperar que vengan los compañeros y la chequeamos. Sí, la voy a abrir para mientras. ¿Y cuál es? Creo que es de la, la cuatro. Bueno, ya la voy a chequear porque... Ahí puede ver usted también hasta dónde ha llegado. ¿va? Una de las últimas creo que son. Déjame ver. Ya la voy a abrir. Todo lo que se conectan ahí en los, en los partners. Vamos a ver. Ah, en la 2 fue que me quedé. Así, ah, en la H2. Aquí me quedé en la H2. Ya le digo cuál era esta. Ahí está, ya está. Dos punto catorce. Ajá, ah, ok. En esta es en la dos punto catorce, teacher. Si quieres se la comparto con ah, no. para que vea cuál es era. Donde estaba la que decía warms, what is it? Instructions. Take a look at the following statement. This this die this die the sealed waiter to use adjective a note. Ah, cuando se iba a usar a note or a oak. Must know plus noun. You only take the adjectives plus and up or adverbs. Solo que esa creo que es en la 3 y algo, no es la 2.14. Yo estoy buscando y... Es en la 2.14, dice aquí. Mm -hmm. Le voy a mostrar lo que yo tengo en la 2.14. 2.14. Ah, que está en la parte de abajo. Ah, dele para abajo. Mm, esta okay. es. Esa no, parte. Pero vamos a ver. Mm, ok. Vale, la voy a hacer rapidín. No sí. So let me just check. Uh, Better my okay. book para grabar este. What and what did you enter in the in the in the box? Okay. Because what I'm checking here is that in this sense and this exercise, you don't have to enter all the all the all the sentence you have to enter only the answer only the words ahí no sé si ajá, no sé si solo se ponía la palabra okay I, I toda la oración okay i'm gonna show you okay this is it okay so uh, yes only the here uh -huh. you only have to enter for example the uh, the word that is in the parentheses and enough So the important here is, according to the grammar that we saw, uh, that sometimes it's going to be before and sometimes ah, it's going okay. to be after. So if you have uh, an adjective like warm, is adjective and then enough. And if you have a noun like people, uh, enough and then the noun. That is the difference. Okay. So... Uh, And probably that Perfect. is the issue that you don't have that, to enter all the sentences. The number five, teacher. Yeah, so, enough sugar. Not, uh -huh. not sugar, okay. Listo. Okay. Ya se la, ya se la copié ahí. All right. Good, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes that happens. Sometimes. Yeah. Perfect. Ya la voy a corregir para que le salga 100% ahí y me califique. Very good. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> en lo que caen más compañeros. Very good. Perfect. 
Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. It's a pleasure to be with you tonight. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Nice. And then uh, remember that we are going to finish classes on Tuesday. And also remember that we need to finish the uh, platform this weekend. Okay, that is also very important. I will be checking if you need help. Of course, I will be checking on that. Okay, also remember that it's not only the uh, unit four, but also the final test. So we need to finish also the final test. Very good. So how was your day tonight? It was good. It's, it, it was raining. Uh, I know that in some parts of the country it was raining, but uh, sometimes when, since I'm in the office, sometimes I don't see if it's rainy or if it's sunny or anything like that. Okay. So we are going to check the attendance, okay? And then we're going to start. Let's see. Aida Isabel Lopez Bonilla. Ana Verónica Hernández Rodríguez. Good. Blanca Isabel Tunaca de Rodríguez. Present. Okay, good. Eric Enrique Reyes Martinez. Ernesto José Andrade Medina. Present teacher. Good. Ingrid Paola Hernández Tenorio. Jennifer Esmeralda Amaya Arias. Jonathan Ariel Figueroa Rivera. José Alfredo Hueso López. Juan Roberto Velázquez Romero. Here, teacher. Good. Carla Alejandra Castillo. Here, teacher. Good. María Julia Ramos Olivar. Mónica Wendy Ábalos Girón. Good, Mónica. Oscar Mauricio Rivera González. Present. Good. Oscar Molina. Oscar René Molina Calidonio. Present. Good. Oseas Figueroa Cisneros. Present. Good. Ramiro Rafael Aguilar Díaz. Roberto Carlos Áviles Rivera. Sandra Yanira Gómez Romero. Silvia Patricia Aceituno Méndez. Present. Good. Víctor Eduardo Reyes Navarrete. Present. Good. And Verónica Elizabeth Burgos Rivas. Present, Mr. Very good, perfect. Okay. So uh, yesterday we were checking about loyalty member so also we were checking about the pyramid the brand pyramid so we can identify um, what is the level of engagement that customers can have with your brand and we were checking some vocabulary and some other things now we're going to continue with the book so uh, unit number four and uh, we're going to start with a uh, conversation so here we go so this is it. It says, I will be able to describe different stages of a product's brand awareness. Uh, do you remember what is awareness? Conciencia. Okay, very good. And in the number one, it says, should a small business invest on raising brand awareness? What do you think? Do you believe that a small business should invest in raising brand awareness? In your opinion? Investing, remember that is that to spend money to something. Ok, 
Okay, so definitely that is something that we we need to do, even in the small business, right? Even in the small business, because you always want to grow. And it says, can you name a pair of strategies to increase a product's brand awareness? We're not going to check into that one, but we checked, for example, yesterday, the pyramid, right? So that was a strategy. Okay, so let's go to the conversation. I'm going to read, and then you are going to practice, and then we're going to check vocabulary. So it says, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Do you have any pronunciation questions? Yes, teacher, in the in the five in the in the first line, the about Celia, Celia uh, told uh, I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon, cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon is correct? Cinnamon, yeah, that's the cinnamon. pronunciation. Okay. Cinnamon. Okay. Thank Canela. you. Yeah, Canela. Yeah. That is it. Canela cola. <laughs> Imagine. Wow. That. <laughs> Ha de ser bueno eso. Yeah, <laughs> we need to try, right? Ya va a salir ayer compañero con con Johnny Walker. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Walker, but that is without soda, please. Puedes <laughs> acompañar. <laughs> All right, any other pronunciation questions? Gwen Lucas said in the first paragraph, the, the last line, uh, this is very this is very important when launching. Launching is correct? Yeah, launching. Launching, okay, thank you. Good. Any other pronunciation questions? No, teacher. Perfect. So let's practice. Now is your turn to uh, say the conversation. Let's practice. Let's start with Ernesto and Oscar René. Let's see how it goes. Okay, uh, Oscar, I am Celia. Okay, you start. I okay, this. okay. I just discovered this <laughs> new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why, why it isn't more popular. It's probably an you know brand supply, but but the owner owners of the brand aren't try, trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers as well uh, of this brand. And there's a image imagine and names names is other words. This cinnamon soda, you cinnamon. are what? Cinnamon. Mm -hmm. 
cinnamon soda you are taking about needs to make people recognize it it's to get higher higher sales and become more competitive very good perfect thank you so next one is victor and oseas okay Start with okay i just discovered uh, this new brand of cinnamon soda it's delicious but when i visited uh, their fan page i saw they only have 300 likes I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Uh, simply put, the owners of the brand are, aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen and add for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Very good, perfect. Now, Sandra Gomez and Ramiro. Okay. And Celia. Yes. Is that Excuse me, I can. I guess she got this. Let me just check here. Yeah, she got this. Okay, no worries. You are going to practice with C. Oh, here she comes. Hello, Sandra. Yeah, she got issues. Okay. Okay, Ramiro and Juan Roberto. Okay. I just discovered this new brand. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Eh, no le podemos escuchar, Sandra. Ah, ahorita sí, yo creo que ya está mejor. So, Sandra, ya you estoy, start. Ya estoy, ya estoy, okay. ya estoy, ya estoy, ya estoy. All right. Okay, I, I start. Okay. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda, delicious. But when I visit their fine place, I say there only how 300 light. I wonder why it's not Why? more popular. Probably an unknown brand. Thank you to the owner of the brand are to be aware for the product. Very important when launching the product. I guess you are right. Everyone know about Coca Cola and Pepsi, but have never see same and uh, for this new soda on TV? Well, yes. Customers are aware of the brand and they make and maintain. In other words, the cinnamon soda you are talking about need to make people it to eat it get themselves and become more complex. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Very good, that was nice. Okay, now, uh, Juan and Maria Julia. Okay, I start. Okay. okay. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda, it's delicious. But when I visited their fan page, uh, as of they only have three, three under like, I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, 
The owners of, of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for the product. This is very important when launching a new product. Um, I guess you are right. Ever Jones know about everyone. Uh, everyone know about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen and, and had for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their I, ima, ima, images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it, recognize it to get to get higher sales and become more competitive. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Roberto Carlos and Aida Isabel. Okay. Aida, you are Giselia. He's on the radio okay. conversation. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you. I just discovered the, can you listen to me? Yeah. Okay. I just discovered this new brand on cinnamon soda. It's here delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it is more popular. It's probably an unknown brand, simply but the owner of the brand are trying too hard to create brand awareness for the product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you're right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand and their images and names. I order words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about me to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Very good, perfect, thank you. So, Silvia, Patricia, is it possible for you? Yes, teacher. Good, and uh, Victor Reyes. Okay. Hello, uh, hello Victor. Maybe not possible. Okay. So it's going to be a Sylvia with Ana Hernandez. Okay. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's a delicious, but when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, just consumers are aware of this brand and their image and names. In other words, the cinnamon soda you are taking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Very good, perfect, thank you. Now, Blanca Tunaka, is it possible for you? Yes, yes. Okay, and Mauricio Rivera. I am Felipe. Uh, yes, I and Mauricio, is it possible for you? No, teacher, I'm ready. Okay, perfect, go ahead. I am a star. Yes. I just discovered 
this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visited their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simple thought. The owners of the brand are, aren't, aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of this brand and their image and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you, you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Very good, perfect, thank you. Thank so, you. Let's check this. Aida Isabel. And... Hello. Yes. Yes, yes. And Carla Alejandra. Okay, I'm going to be Celia again, okay? Okay. Carla, is okay? Yeah. Okay. I just discovered this new brand on cinnamon, cinnamon soda. It's delicious, but I went like this, it is, is their fan page. I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it is more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, they, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you're right. Everyone, know, everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this in Minnesota on TV. Well, yes. Consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, this cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make more people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Very good, perfect, thank you. Jennifer Amaya, is it possible for you? Not possible, okay, very well, so. Let's check some uh, details into this one. Um, see, yeah, we check what is cinnamon and uh, what is a fan page. Very come on. Okay. On Facebook. Nice. And the other question is Wonder. Do you remember what is Wonder? Yes, it's like a question. Okay, it's a maravilloso. Question. Como adjetivo es maravilloso. Como verbo is different. I wonder is como cuando digo yo me pregunto. Yo me mm -hmm. pregunto. Por, I wonder why. Okay. What is unknown? Desconocido. Very good. And see. Do you remember what is launching? Lanzamiento. Very good. Check. I don't see any other. Do you have any other questions? Here? The use of wonder um, and when you use, uh, I ask, I ask me anything. Yeah, the difference is that sometimes if you use wonder as an adjective, it's describing a noun. And if you are using wonder as a verb, is going to be next to the subject. So I wonder. So there you are going to identify 
is if this is a verb or an adjective. Okay. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay. So now we're going to do the exercise number three. So it's according to uh, the conversation, of course. So I will give you a few minutes for you to check it out. Okay, so let's check it out. Number one it says, why is cinnamon soda not so popular? Probably unknown brand. Very good, because it's an unknown brand, right? Very good. Number two, what is an important step to consider when launching a new product? Create brand awareness. Very good. It's very important to create brand awareness. And the number three, what is Lucas' recommendation for the cinema soda to get more sales? Uh -huh, anybody? In, in this, in this, Lucas uh, told teacher the consumers are aware for this brand and their image 
and names. But for me, important too is uh, the cinnamon soda uh, are talking about needs to make people recognized, recognize it. Very good. So that is it, right? Needs to make the brand recognizable and uh, that everybody uh, knows about the images. I mean, actually the same, but in different words. Okay, very good. Perfect. Nice. So now we're going to check building vocabulary. It says uh, brand awareness is the ability of customers to identify your brand uh, by its attributes. The following are some stages of brand awareness, much stages of brand awareness uh, to their description. So these are different from the ones that we had yesterday, as you remember. I will give you a few minutes for you to check it out, okay?
Okay, so uh, the first one, who wants to check the first one? For me, it's unknown brand. Unknown brand. So customers don't recognize your brand. That would be unknown brand. Everybody agrees? I agree with Roberto. Good. So what is going to be the next one? Number two. You must have a job for people of color. If these customers can recall any brand, but yours for a particular product category. Is the brand dominance? Brand dominance. No, I don't think it's that one. Actually, that is one of the last ones. I, I refer for that they say that the particular product category category. Mm -hmm. And for that I, I think that uh well actually that is top of mind. Okay. So top of mind would be the second because they don't recall any brand. Uh, but yours for a particular product, that would be it. So for number three, it says a uh, consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when give a product a territory. For me, teacher, is brand recall? Brand recall, very good. And then the other one says the first brand customers can think of for a product category. What would be that one? I have two options. <laughs> uh -huh. For me, it's possible top of mind or brand dominance. Okay, so top of mind can be here because the last one actually is brand dominance. Okay. Yeah. Top consumers, of mind. yeah, consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. That is brand dominance. So let's say then that the second one is recognition, right? That would be the core one. Yeah, very good. Uh, let me check if we have any more here. I don't think so. No, I don't see any, any of those. Okay. So, it says, what brands are top of mind for you, for your classmates? Complete the chart with your own information and then interview your classmates and compare your answers. So, it says, what are examples of ice cream produced locally? And what's the name of computer company identified for particular foods? I believe these are not that good examples, but let's think about this. I want you to think about what is the brand for you for soda, okay? And then the brand for you for toothbrush or toothpaste. Uh, the the next one is going to be the best or your brand for um or, or let's do it up maybe it's better that way uh, let's discuss what are the brands that you always follow but we are going to uh, do this in groups okay so I'm going to create here some uh groups this is not going to be that long activity. So you can uh, speak about the brands that you recognize when you go to the supermarket. The brands that are like the most popular brands, okay? Any questions with the activity? Teacher, we, uh, um, we have the list. Uh, no, actually it's going to be open. Uh, you are going to discuss, when you go to the supermarket, what are the brands that are the ones that you look for or that you believe are the most popular. And the most popular see, in the supermarket. In the supermarket, yeah. Okay. And then we're going to check if everybody agrees on that one. Okay, excuse me, teacher. 
the, the, the activity is only for uh, what brands are the top of mind of supermarket only. On the supermarket. No soda, yeah. no, soda <laughs> no ice cream, no computer. Uh, only you can, supermarket. Uh, well, you can speak about other brands that are very popular. If you want to speak about computers, that is fine. Um, in the supermarket, maybe the option, I mean, the advantage is that you have a lot of brands together. Right? But if you want to discuss about computer and, or any other brands, of course it's possible. A teacher, teacher, yeah. I, I, uh, the Johnny Walker is most popular. Ah, it's very popular. <laughs> it's very good. So now we're talking. He's near, he's near to the weekend. Oh, he's, yeah. <laughs> we it's a good about topic. That. <laughs> yes, good topic for 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 talk about. Can you imagine this? Can you imagine that we actually we drink Johnny Walker and we speak in English? How would it be that? <laughs> that would be interesting, right? <laughs> okay, my friends, let's okay. then discuss that with the partners that we create the groups right now. Okay. So, uh, popular brands and why do you believe are they popular?
Hello. Hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Did you finish already? I think, yes. Okay. So we're going to go back. Let me scroll. Okay. Okay. 